Earth's largest sphere besides the planet itself doesn't officially debut for a few more months, but people got a sneak peek of the crazy new attraction very recently. Anyone driving through Las Vegas may have thought aliens had landed, looking black and mysterious, like a spaceship against the skyline during the day, until night falls, when it will glow like the Earth from space. The huge sphere was turned on for the first time, offering a magnificent show featuring roving eyeballs, spiraling galaxies, and mesmerizing patterns. As the largest spherical structure in the world, this new mega project is creating a lot of buzz worldwide, and in today's video we will explore all the fascinating details about it. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to help us grow as a channel. Despite being located in the middle of the desert, nothing has stopped the city of Las Vegas from constructing some of the world's largest and most iconic buildings. Vegas has converted its deserts to an oasis and attracted millions of people to the city. As the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas is spending billions of dollars to attract more and more people into the city and its newest mega-project that was recently completed is the spectacular and enormous sphere-shaped entertainment venue, officially known as the MSG Sphere. This mega-project was announced in February 2018, and work began the same year following a groundbreaking ceremony. It was expected that the project would be completed in 2021, but work was disrupted due to the COVID pandemic. Fast forward to July 2023, construction on this magnificent structure is now complete and it was fully illuminated for the first time to celebrate the 4th of July. As part of the special event, the giant ball displayed a multitude of visuals including the American flag, an eyeball, a basketball, and even Earth itself. The sphere's exterior will be illuminated every day and night with animations and other imagery, sometimes tied to the season. For example, it could transform into a giant pumpkin at Halloween and a snow globe at Christmas. The venue is scheduled to open on the 29th of September this year. Soon, the wait will be over and people from all over the world will get to experience world-class entertainment at this unique venue. The site has generated quite a lot of buzz locally and online. Some see a technological marvel, while others see a gigantic spherical billboard that's a prime distraction for drivers. People are saying that the sphere's enormous swirling visuals will cause traffic accidents. The MSG Sphere was built in partnership between the Madison Square Garden Company and Las Vegas Sands Corporation. Initial predictions were that the project would cost $1.2 billion, but construction costs inflated by the pandemic have climbed to $2.3 billion, more than the Sphere's glitziest Vegas neighbors, including the Bellagio and Allegiant Stadium. The MSG Sphere is now the largest spherical structure in the world, at 366 feet tall and 516 feet wide. It will serve as a radical new entertainment venue that can accommodate more than 20,000 standing spectators or 17,500 seated guests, and all seats will have high-speed internet access. The sphere has nine levels, including the basement, where a VIP club is located. A total of 23 VIP suites are included, across the third and fifth floors. It is truly remarkable to discover that the screen of the sphere is larger than three football fields combined, extending over and behind the stage to provide spectators with an entirely distinct and unparalleled experience. The wraparound screen covers an area of 160,000 square feet, making it the world's largest and highest resolution LED screen. In collaboration with Holoplot, an audio company based in Berlin, the Sphere incorporates a specialized spatial audio system that utilizes up to 164,000 speakers. Utilizing cutting-edge beamforming sound technology, this advanced system enables spectators to enjoy personalized audio that simulates the effect of wearing headphones, all without the need for actual headsets. The arena further enhances the sensory experience by incorporating touch through an infrasound haptic flooring system, 
which conveys bass vibrations through the floor, allowing guests to physically feel the immersive encounter. Additionally, the inclusion of 4D elements, including wind and scent, transports the audience to various locations, creating a truly captivating and immersive journey. Covering the exterior of the sphere is an expansive high-resolution LED display, spanning an impressive 580,000 square feet. This outer surface serves a dual purpose as an enormous screen, capable of showcasing videos and potentially displaying advertisements throughout the Las Vegas cityscape and skyline. Additionally, an external camera system positioned outside the city enables the projection of real-time images and videos onto the dome, providing the astonishing ability to make the structure seemingly vanish. As a result, the captivating visuals displayed on the external screen are expected to be visible from miles away. The arena will primarily host award shows and concerts, in addition to other entertainment events. Although it was not designed to host sporting events, there is the possibility of hosting matches for boxing and mixed martial arts, as well as eSports tournaments. MSG is one of the partners for the upcoming Formula One Grand Prix in November, whose course will actually take drivers around the sphere's exterior before hitting the strip straightway. The way this building was built is unlike anything you've seen before. Overseeing the project was AECOM, an American infrastructure firm renowned for its involvement in various stadium constructions, including the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. By 2019, excavation had commenced at the location, requiring the removal of 110,000 cubic yards of soil to prepare the site for construction. Spanning a remarkable 875,000 square feet, this spherical structure comprises a total of nine levels. Given its expansive coverage, engineers faced the challenge of transporting the world's fourth largest crawler crane from Belgium to the construction site to facilitate the lifting of heavy construction materials. The crane was disassembled, transported across the Atlantic Ocean, and eventually brought to Las Vegas using 120 tractor trailers. An additional crane was employed to assemble the primary crane, a process that spanned 18 days. With the help of this special crane, a giant 170-ton steel compression ring was added, marking the heaviest lift of the entire project. Due to its size, the ring had to be assembled at the construction site. Workers spent three weeks welding and bolting the prefabricated steel pieces together, and the crane was then used to lift the ring into place. The engineers and architects involved in the project regarded the dome's roof as the most complex aspect of the entire construction process. They deemed it nearly impossible to construct the roof without any central support due to the immense weight it would bear. To complete the dome's roof, a substantial amount of steel, 3,000 tons to be exact, was required. The installation process involved placing 32 trusses, with each truss weighing 100 tons. To facilitate the roof construction, a temporary shoring tower was erected at the center of the arena to provide support. As the installation of the trusses progressed, reaching the midpoint, it became necessary to relocate the crane to the southern side of the property to continue the installation of the remaining trusses. The relocation process for the crane, given its size, took two full days to complete. The compression ring at the top of the sphere holds the structure in place. Upon completion of the roof steel frame, 6,000 cubic yards of concrete were then pumped onto the roof. This formed a layer measuring 10 inches in thickness and weighing approximately 10,000 tons. Crews then turned their focus to a 730-ton steel interior frame which will support the LED screens and audio system. After the work on the interior frame was completed, and with the installation of the exterior LED screens, work on this massive mega-project was completed. At the site of the venue, a pedestrian bridge will connect the sphere to the Venetian Expo and Convention Center, and there are also plans to build a new Las Vegas monorail station to serve the MSG sphere and the Venetian. As part of their endeavors, 
MSG Entertainment has unveiled a replica of the sphere in Burbank, California, known as MSG Studios. This scaled-down version stands at nearly 100 feet in height and serves as a hub for production and post-production activities related to the Las Vegas Sphere and future Sphere projects. This facility collaborates with filmmakers and musicians in the creation of captivating content for the Las Vegas Sphere. MSG Entertainment has disclosed that an identical sphere is planned to be built in Stratford, East London, and in the future, the company expects to build several other spheres around the world. With the official opening of the Las Vegas Sphere around the corner, it remains to be seen whether this project can deliver on its extravagant promises. But if it works, the live music experience may never be quite the same. The Sphere will redefine the way entertainment is experienced, and it would be exciting to see extensions of it in various cities across the world. Let us know your thoughts on this mega project in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.